Hey guys, what's up? So this is the session eight, series eight, where we have Selenium questions and answers. So before to start, this is brief about me. Uh, I come from Bihar and I work as a software engineer. And my uh, this is my Facebook page and YouTube channel. So you can like my channel and subs. You can actually like my uh, Facebook page and subscribe my channel so that you'll have access to all my videos and the GitHub locations where my all source code will be present, right? and uh, today we will see some more questions of selenium which people they ask in the interview the first questions of this series is how many test scripts do you write in a day right so the answer cannot be here 100 percent the fixed one we can say that if the methods are designed if the page functions are designed we can write 7 to 10 scripts if there is only ui verifications like we have to just verify the element on the ui or we just have some assertion verifications or some validations on the ui pages yes we can write 8 to 10 and when we write means we write we execute and we make sure that it works in the browser which is given by our organizations or which is supported by our applications so 8 to 10 we can design but if it is a big scenario end to end scenario then we can design we can design one or two max if end to end scenario like a start from start from home page go till the last page let's say e-commerce start from the home page select the product uh, go to the basket go to the payment page and then do payment so end to end scenario we can design one to two because methods will not be ready so we need to write the page functions and then we need to call the method we need to run the script so hardly a one to two if it is a scenario if it is ui verifications eight to ten Again, the UI verifications, if the object is written, if the function is written, then only 8 to 10, otherwise 5 to 6, not more than that. So what is your role and responsibility? Sometimes people, they will ask you. So I have listed out here a couple of role and responsibility. You can say that I was involved in evaluating Selenium for web UI automations. So generally in any company, when we start the automations, first we evaluate the tool, like whether this tool is fit for our applications or not. Then you can say that involvement in designing and implementing Selenium Web Driver automations built in, built using Selenium Web Driver plus Test NG as an execution engine. Like I was involved into framework design, you can say that. Also, you can say that I'm involved into designing the scripts. I design the scripts, right? And I perform the regression testing of that designed script, right? And I coordinate with the manual testing team whenever there is any failure happens through automations, we'll inform to the manual team, they will cross check. And then I update and maintain the various test artifacts, test automations framework depending on the change requirement. So whenever any requirement changes, your locator will change, your script will change. So I do maintain the script, I do change the locators. Then how many timbers you, team members you have in your team? Like how many team members you have? This can be one, can be two, can be 10, right? So whatever you will tell, it's the right answer. Like let's say I work for a lot of companies where there is no team member, I am alone. There are and I have worked for some company where there were 10 team members, right? So any answer is fine. Is it possible to automate in a sprint? Yes, it is possible to automate in a sprint. So these days company they are following agile method where uh, generally they will make a sprint of two weeks. In the sprints you will get a new feature, right? So you need to first test the feature. Once there is no bug in the feature, automate the feature and then uh, you can do you can run the automated script so you can say that yes it is possible we can automate the uh, feature in the sprint a sprint in the sense of within the two weeks time we can automate we can test right and uh, uh, we can make sure that the script should work for other sprint also so how do you execute test scripts so there could be a lot of answers for that you can you ask them first like what do you mean by uh, executing test script so one answer is you, you can execute the test case a script through test ng the another answer is you can schedule the job through Jenkins where you can just schedule the job and that will trigger based on the time which you have scheduled and the third answer is uh, you can execute through bat file so you can make a bat file of your script and you can trigger the bat file but generally company they follow Jenkins where they can schedule the job and when you schedule the job and when there is any build deployment so whenever there is any build deployment the job will get triggered automatically what is the source code management you use you can say that i use jenkins or i use github uh, sorry i use jenkins or i use svn based on what you know you can say that 
so some of the company they don't use source code management even that is fine you can say that we keep the source code in the centralized location server people they fetch from there but usually 99% of the company they use the source code management tool and the git is very famous it's open source you can just learn in the one day do you do parallel testing say that yes we do parallel testing through test ng because in the test ng we have options to do the parallel testing i will show you how we can do that so if you look at any uh, test ng file right so let's say this is test ng file here uh, i can write uh, test so i can write here parallel right and in the parallel i can write classes now what will happen this will run a parallel so whatever class you have whatever class we have run written it will run in the parallel and then we can write thread count so how many threads so i will say three threads so when i write like this you know what will happen in one shot your three class will get executed like three scripts will will execute in one shot so you can say that yes we can do parallel testing through this annotation so i'll just paste the annotations here itself for you guys reference so let me just paste it here itself so this through this we can do the parallel testing through test ng we can do a parallel testing now what is the challenge in automation so this is very important questions people will ask you say that the challenge was how do you write a method which should work irrespective of there is a changes in the ui that was the challenge like to defining the proper method second is to writing to handling the dynamic objects was the second challenge like how do you handle the dynamic objects like id watch keep on changing class watch keep on changing right they will ask you you can say that handling the objects then cross counter questions will ask you how do you how do you handle that say that i have used the selenium functions or css functions i used following siblings preceding siblings concepts i used uh, start with and with right so these are the functions i used then third you can say that the challenge was uh, to so automation is not a challenge the challenge is how you execute your script so execution was the challenge like how do you make sure that your all script is getting executed that is a challenge right the third thing is the way you define the structure of your framework that is challenge like whether your framework is good enough to accept any changes or not so let's say today you are using selenium version 3.0 suddenly selenium version 5 comes in the market after 3 years whether your framework is flexible enough to adapt the changes or not right so how you have designed the framework that was a challenge so you can say that these are the couple of challenge it was but the major challenge what i see is how do you define the method how do you write the object and if you have done any hard coding yes your script will not work in the future the third is how flexible framework you have like whether there is any change happens whether your framework will adapt or not right so you should always design a framework where we should not touch a test script you should touch only your method or supporting functions or ui pages functions which you have written so those was the challenge during the automations and in fact even uh, the challenge was to make sure that 100% test script should pass that is the challenge because in automations when you run a test script in the bulk you cannot guarantee your all script will pass so and that all depends on how good you have designed the script whether you have handled the proper weight conditions whether you have handled proper assertions or not right so these were the challenge of the framework design so thank you guys thank you for watching this this is series number 8 which is done now uh, we will be continuing with the other series and if you like this video hit like button subscribe my youtube channel thank you guys